everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Novak. Hope you're having a good day, and I hope everything's going all right with your aquarium. What I want to speak about today is something that uh, you don't hear too much on the internet about, but uh, it does exist. It's lighting. And the very downside of lighting. Now, as you know, I bought the Asta 120 lights from Amazon. And out of the five I bought, three of them burnt out or went dead within a year. And try to contact the manufacturer to no avail. They don't even answer. And I highly recommend that you do not buy anything from that manufacturer. But, you know, it's okay if you turn around and you buy something and you have one person doesn't answer you. But what happens when it happens a lot? And what happens with these LED lights that they don't seem to be lasting? Are you having a problem like that? Now, I like to use LED lights. I go to the hardware store, and you can use a lot of these LED lights that will perform for freshwater aquariums or a refrugum just as good as a very expensive light, like a Kessel light, for example. But what I'm finding out is that when I use these lights, they don't last that long, these LEDs. Some of them do, and some of them prematurely burn out or flicker or something else happens to the LED light. Maybe you notice that too. Even a, a brand like this, GE, these lights here, they're expensive. And it says on the box, 22-year life. And this is a 100-watt one. It's great for a small aquarium to put over with a pendant light. And it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a strip light or anything else that's out there. But the problem is it could prematurely burn out. And this one, 22 years, no, it's not. I bought a nice big bulb here by TCP LED. This was an expensive bulb, but I put it over my 90-gallon. Well, within a year it start flickering. Okay, and this is for outside use, and it puts out over 11,000 luminous. It's, so it's an extremely bright light. Not as bright as a metal halide, but it's extremely bright LED light. Within a year, it already start flickering. I contacted the manufacturer over and over and over again, and they have never contacted me back. They just blow you off. Yet this has a five-year warranty. Yeah, five-year warranty. It says it right there. I have all my receipts and everything. They give you a warranty, and yet they never respond. I called, emailed them several times, called them several times. You get on perpetual hold when you call them. Never call you back. You're sitting there a half hour on the phone. Then you find a lot of these manufacturers do that just to wear you out so you don't claim anything for your warranty, you know, I found out. But you would think a big company like GE with their lights, they would last, and they're not. So I thought, what's going on? So I thought, and these are UL listed. Both these lights are UL listed. They're listed for outdoor use. So I start wondering. Can I be the only one who's buying these lights and they're burning out these LED lights? And I've had this done with fluval lights. I've had it done with two fluval lights where LEDs start burning out in them within a year's time. Like, what is going on with these LED lights? What good are they if lights are going to be constantly burning out? However, I didn't find the same problem with my expensive lights, like my Kessel lights. I didn't find that problem. And from my understanding, Kessel is pretty good about customer service. But why are the LEDs that you're buying at the hardware store or anywhere else off of uh, Amazon, why are they not lasting? So when I did my research, I actually found a video of a guy talking about the same thing I'm talking about. And I thought, well, this is interesting. Let me find out what he has to say. And he turned around and started testing out LEDs. Why were they burning out LED light bulbs sooner than what they're supposed to? He says he's tried them cold, 
and they still burn out. He's tried them hot, they still burn out. He's tried them putting a fan on them to keep a breeze going on the LED light, they still would burn out. He says he tried them in a closed fixture, open fixture, they still burnt out. It did not matter what fixture or how you would use them and apply them, they would still burn out prematurely before the manufacturer's warranty was up. So he thought the same thing as why. He said a long time ago they didn't, but now today they are. Well, what he found out is a lot of this stuff is coming from China. Not that China's bad. I'm not going to say that. A lot of our stuff comes from China. But here's how it goes. You make an LED light, let's say, and you make an LED. It's rated. You have your ones that pass, your high grade, and then you have your low grade. Well, they're not going to take the low grade LEDs and just toss them in a trash can. They're going to sell those LEDs off. And where do they end up? Those low grade LEDs. Well, they end up in light bulbs. He said, not only that, what he found out is he found out that the electronics are cheap electronics that they put into the LED bulbs, which I was thinking, why are they burning out? Some last, some don't. Well, they're not like Vichy resistors or something in those LED bulbs, something that's expensive. They're cheap, inexpensive parts that they're using. He said he found that out in all of them. They use the most cheap, inexpensive parts. And it's the parts in there mechanically that just don't last. And because they're cheap. And remember, they're making hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of light bulbs. In order to save money, they're going to use the cheapest of parts. And they can give any kind of warranty they want. If they're not going to hold to the warranty, it's pretty well useless especially when they say you have to keep your receipts and everything else. And he found out that is the cause. Cheap, inexpensive LEDs and cheap, inexpensive parts. So I start wondering, well, why is it that my Kessel lights, for example, or some of the other very expensive LED lights that manufacturers have, that I have, seem to last and go on for years? Well, they use more expensive LEDs, and they use high output LEDs, and they use more expensive parts, high quality parts. It's the difference. I mean, for a lot of us, I guess we have to think of, you buy a Kessel 360 light, it costs you $450, or you buy a Tuna Sun, that's a 40-watt Tuna Sun, and it's going to cost you $250. That's a lot of money. For a light. And there's a reason why I realized the quality of parts that they're putting into it. They're made to last. Kessel doesn't want a bad reputation, and people say, no, nah, they burn out quickly. So they make them out of better parts. And they seem to last years, even though they only give a year guarantee, but they seem to last years. And they just tell you how many wattages it, it is on the Kessel. They really don't give you a lot of information on luminous output, I notice. But with that said, the Kessel lights do work. I'm using a Kessel light over my antique aquarium right now, a 360 XE. Okay. And it doesn't look as bright as some of the lights I use made by GE Ultra Bright. You know, to the human eye, it doesn't look as bright. But I go there, let's say by 9, 9.30 at night, and I can see all the plants are photosynthesized. You just load it full of oxygen bubbles, all the plants in the antique aquarium. I do use CO2, I'm letting you know, but I don't saturate the tank with CO2 because I don't even know what level it goes at. I'm not worried about that. As long as I'm adding some CO2 to the tank, it's good enough. That's the way I look at it. But I could see by 9.30 at night, the tank is just full of pearly bubbles, okay? And that's with the Kessel. So to the eye, it may not look bright, but to the plants, it does. I also notice the same thing if you use one of those grow bulbs from uh, GE 
that are for plants, they come in a green box, and they're going to have a reddish color to them. But I also noticed that the plants, like I was experimenting in my 90-gallon tank, they photosynthesize and were bubbling and purling. I also use CO2 and the 90-gallon aquarium. So even though to the eye it didn't look pleasing, the plants liked it. Even though the Kessel light maybe to the eye doesn't look as pleasing as, as you would like, but apparently the plants really liked it. And I noticed that of these two bulbs. And you can find the GE bulbs at any lows. And it'll be a plant bulb and it comes in a green box. And you'll see them spike in the red. And I've used them. And you, you may say the color they render, you know, it's, it's going to be a redder color. But the plants love it. And the plants will photosynthesize and bubble and everything else. It's not something I think that anybody would want to put on their aquarium because to the eye it doesn't look good, but the plants love it. So if you mixed it, it would be good. But my point is, I went off on a tangent, sorry about that, but my point is, is why are they burning out? Now, not all of them, but I know I bought several different GE bulbs, paid good money for them, and within a year they have burnt out or had problems with them within a year. Not all of them, but they do. And that's, I think, if you're having the same problem, if you watch my videos and you say, oh yeah, I use those bulbs, you know, you may be thinking, yeah, I bought them and mine have burnt out. If mine have burnt out, yours are probably burnt out prematurely. And you may, th may think, you know, hey, that's a, that's a waste of money. These are very expensive. Well, that's the reason why. I remember the guy on the video did say, it doesn't matter who you buy, what company, they all prematurely seem to burn out and not last anything near what they claim. And he said the same thing I just told you, save your receipts. Make sure you save whenever you buy a light from GE or one like this. And I'm still going after, I'm going to call a better business bureau on these people. This, this is nonsense. And this company is out of this TCP, Aurora, Ohio. And here they don't answer the phone. They give you a internet, tcpi.com, or they give you a 1-800 number to call. I've called this number and I've been on a perpetual hold. No one ever answers. You know, you're on perpetual hold. Oh, we'll get right with you. Half hour, 45 minutes, nothing. You know, and this is an American company. So it doesn't matter what brand you buy, be prepared that there are going to be shortcomings. But the only recommendation is keep all your receipts. Don't throw away the box. Don't throw away your receipts. So you can take them back and say, look, I bought this. I want a replacement. Sometimes you can go to manufacturers. Sometimes you can go right back to Lowe's. I know Lowe's is pretty good at Home Depot sometimes. If it burns out within uh, like a year or something, you've got the receipt. You, sometimes you can take it back to Lowe's and say, here, this is burnt out. Here's when I bought it. You know, And it's supposed to last 22 year life. And I didn't even get a year out of it. You know, that's what the guy's video said. So until next time, happy fish keeping and thank you for watching.